Hello, boss world. Open to boxing block center. Louis King Kong Otis defeated Razvan Kajanu, the Romanian plumber, in the second round. Razvan Kajanu was very out of shape, and、uh, he got knocked the fuck out in the second round. So, wish was. In my opinion, a very good fight. I mean, Luis Ortiz, we all know, he's got that,、uh, you know, power as well to hurt anyone. But against guys like Kojano, he should be taking them out of there. People were talking about Kojano going a twelve round、uh, with、uh, Joseph Parker. That's because Kojano understands the style of Joseph Parker. You know, they've been sparring. He's a sparring partner. And so when you spot. On dress of rounds with why why wouldn't you know the the tricks of him? So <laughs> that's how it is. You don't cannot judge. You know, a fight by. <sighs> okay, you cannot really judge a fight. You know, by the last performance. You know what I mean? You can say, oh, uh, Deontay Wilder, oh. Derek Molina rocked Deontay Wilder, but he couldn't rock AJ. AJ knocked him out. AJ made him look like a like an idiot. Okay, so but it is hard to judge in a way like that. Except the win is against a high level opponent. Whereas Vakajano is a D level fighter, so he's not even C. He's not even B. He is D level at best. Even fat, if not E. <laughs> So it was a very nice fight anyway. I liked it. I didn't watch it, but I watched the highlights. You know, it was very nice. I mean, he did what he had to do. And、uh, Luis Ortiz has been very, you know, vocal about、uh, wanting the Anthony Joshua fight, and he also wants the Deontay Wilder rematch. You know, the reason why he wants the Anthony Joshua fight is because of the money. You know, during the Wilder fight, he didn't get paid that much. You know, it was just used as a scapegoat for Wilder to, <laughs> you know, to keep talking rubbish. You know, he knew that he was going to lose that fight. In fact, Luis Ortiz was losing on the scorecards, even though in the hands of the boxing fans, Luis Ortiz was at was at boxing Wilder full time, no doubt. But on the scorecards, he was losing. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why during the Wilder, if he hadn't knocked Luis Ortiz out at that time. Believe me, <laughs> a lot of fans would have something to say about that scorecards, about the judge, about the judges, you know. So, yeah, he wants to, you know, establish his life. You know, fighting Anthony Joshua gives you a career high payday and sets your life forever. Okay, we also Joseph Park right now. He's set forever. He's set for life. Get it? And he's still just twenty six years old. Against Anthony Joshua, you know that's where he got really the real money, and then having to fight Dylan White in a very thrilling, exciting fight, he got paid as well. So Joseph Parker doesn't have anything to worry about, but I think he still got a future in the boxing、uh, <clears throat> industry because he's a very young fighter. I mean, he's very skilled and he's twenty six years old. So why will he give up? At this age, because of money, you know what I mean. The guy like Deontay Wilder has been fighting for more than ten years, and well, the guy is not, is not rich like that, man. Looking at this box, he's、uh, been getting like one million nine hundred thousand, two million, is two million, is two point something million. Finish. He hasn't gotten a paycheck of five million before. And Luis Ortiz is just trying to get. A payday from Anthony Joshua, he will get it, no doubt. But he has to work his way up. Fighting guys like Kojano is not really a test. You've got to fight a tough, you know, opponent, top five, top let's say top ten opponents. Okay, you know what I mean. So I think Luis Ortiz、uh, deserves to get a fight with Anthony Joshua definitely. But you know what the outcome will be. Joshua will knock him the fuck out. 
Joshua will even, even Dillian White will rough him up. Dillian White will beat Luis Otis. Believe me, no doubt about that. El Skinny Wardo was able to manhandle Luis Otis in the ring, bully him in the ring. Remember when Dillian Wardo was laying on the Luis Otis around, you know, holding him. Dillian White will use his dirty uh, tactics to, to just, you know, make Luis Otis look like a hold man. You know what I mean? Because of physical, strong guy, you know, he's just too much for Luis Otis. A guy like Anthony Joshua is a monster. And he would just, you know, make Luis Otis, you know, look like a, like, like a baby. You know, Luis Otis cannot, you know, hold Joshua or, you know what I mean? Joshua can just hold, you know what I mean? When Joshua pins Luis Otis down, he's good night. But Luis Otis cannot pin Joshua down because Luis Otis... He's not physically endowed, okay? You know, he has a weak genetics, you know? You know what I mean? So, oh, I'm just saying the truth. You might hate me for that, but I'm just saying the truth. So this, I like him as a fighter. I think he deserves a shot at the Joshua, but not by beating Kojano. I can, I can knock out Kojano, even though Kojano is uh, way taller than me. But I think I can knock out Kojano right now. I, I've got more power than Kojano. Let me see right here. You know. <laughs> That's it for now, guys. Give a toss below, like the video, share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Cheers to the Lord.